several days ago I had featured uh, this particular image on my website and it was from a shoot that I was editing into the wee hours of the morning and um, you know running behind on it anyhow and I just wanted to take some time here and show you a bit of how I got that particular look and feel and uh, first off I started out with a with a preset that I've developed it's called Alan's Portrait Vintage and it's pretty much the evolutionary offspring of several other vintage uh, presets that I've put together over the last while and uh, this one here as you can see it uh, you know brings in a very subdued tone but yet uh, you know, drawing out some of the blacks toning back the color a bit and um, as well as the clarity just giving it a, a slightly softer feel and from there I went and um, use the iris enhance with the with the adjustment brush and what the iris enhance does is it brings out the exposure brightens that a little bit more adds some extra saturation and clarity just to make the eyes pop just a bit more and uh, I'm toning back the the feather here um, whenever whenever working with the eyes I like to I like to have enough feather to give it sort of a little natural feel but I don't want to give it so much to where you know I'm just basically hitting on the pupil not clearly getting everything else so just doing this over here on this one yet okay and there we go and that is after that's before and from there uh, one thing that was characteristic about this young guy was his uh, mohawk and so one thing I wanted to do in the editing was actually bring that out and call that to your attention uh, not necessarily slap you in the face with it but I definitely wanted you to be aware that it's there and so what I did was I came in and uh, did a, a new adjustment layer here with the adjustment brush and put the clarity all the way up to 100 gave it a bit more of a feather increased in size just a bit there we go and um, that might be just a little too much feather there we go that's more like it and uh, simply came in here gave that a little more pop um, you know made it stand out just a bit and as you can see that was before that's after it uh, brings out the highlights a little bit more and adds a little definition to the shadows underneath the hair as it's coming down over the forehead and one last thing here with the adjustment brush and that is down here uh, in the bottom of the picture you can see his forearms look a little blotchy um, that's partly due to um, the preset and the vignetting that is built into it as well as the fact that whenever I shot the image uh, the light, um, the sun, was actually coming from camera right, and I had uh, had it diffused with a large circular diffuser, and so this area here, as I was shooting up from the ground, uh, was not very well lit. So between the preset and the lighting, it uh, lent itself to giving the skin a little bit of a blotchy feel. So what I did was I come, came in here, um, did a new mask, and I dropped the clarity. Um, quite a bit and what that does what that does is it just helps even out the skin tones a little bit and it helps things to be a little less spotty blotchy and just blends that in then with the with the hand here as you can see you know, it just sort of sort of evens things out instead of having the harsh lighting underneath or the harsh shadows I guess underneath the arm going into the hand which is actually folded on top and exposed to the light it just sort of smooth things out makes the transition a little bit a little bit easier 
just a couple more touch-ups. Maybe drop the clarity just a bit more. There we go. And you don't want to make the arms look as though they're airbrushed, especially on a kid, especially on a family portrait. Um, it's, I don't know, in some ways it's, it's a little overkill to do that, but just evening out the skin tones a little bit uh, helps smooth things over, gives it a better look without uh, making it look like it's airbrushed. So that's pretty much it, and I will be taking it then into, um, or I did take it into Photoshop then, and cleaned up, cleaned up the face just a bit. And uh, he had a cold on this particular day, so sort of made things a little rougher for him. But um, you know, just do a little cloning, a little uh, healing, and um, you know, get get his nose and mouth area cleaned up just a bit. But that's that's pretty much the entire process. And if you would like to download the uh, Portrait Vintage preset that I developed here, uh, go to my website, uh, alanmowry.com, and under, under Resources, uh, simply click on Presets, and it's, it'll be uh, posted under there. Um, actually, yeah, the article that's up right in here, uh, Photographers are Creepy People. Uh, stop by, take a moment to read that, see if you can identify... If you do happen to use the preset, uh, feel free to share a link or post an image, and I'd love to see what you've done with it.